Hey guys, I'm Zheng Yu from Apply for China. Today we arrive at Zhejiang International Studies University, and from the name, you can feel that this university must have a lot to do with international communication. Actually, this university has a lot of partners in all languages and across five continents, and have many international exchange programs. So today, let's take a look at what the campus itself looks like. As an international studies university, the language teaching is a flagship major here. Now I've come to the Wang Building, and I've heard that this school has set up a variety of classrooms for different kinds of language teaching. And in this building, we can see many many different kinds of classrooms. Now let's go to check it out. Though the school's characteristic major is language, there are still many other majors and courses. For example, the students in this classroom are taking advanced mathematics courses, and in this teaching building, there are relatively ordinary classrooms like this, and there are also some special classrooms opened just for language teaching. Now we come to the Italian cultural experience room. We can find at a glance here is different from the general classroom. From the style of desks and chairs to the decoration of the classroom, everywhere reflects the characteristics of Italy. Here's a sentence in Italian. I really don't know how to read it. Are there any Italians who can teach me? We are now in France. I love this phonograph, but it would be even better if there was an Eiffel Tower here. Due to time limits, we can just choose these two classrooms. And other featured classrooms include, but not limited to, Korea, Arabia, Japan, Russia, and so on. I don't know if you have a question. Why the teaching building here is not called A building, B building, but called One building? In fact, this is also、uh, one of the characteristics of this university. The literal translation of "one" in Chinese is "look over," and it also means、uh, a kind of expectation、uh, of the future. Naming the teaching building with this word also reflects an expectation from this university. We now come to Rong Building. Which is also the teaching building here. Rome in Chinese means integration, which represents the school's emphasis on cultural exchange. Compared to one building, though this teaching building doesn't have very special classrooms, but it has a stronger modern atmosphere. Now we come to the library here. This library also has a very special name called Hongwen Library, which means a place to promote culture. To be honest, I really think it looks like the White House. So let's go into it now and see what the president is doing. Actually, Hongwen Library originally refers to the ancient Chinese office for the collection of classics. And it is used again as the name of the library to emphasize the role of literature collection here. On the second floor of the library, we can find many group study rooms like this. Where students can discuss and study in this tidy and comfortable space. On the third floor of the library, there are many collections of multi-language books, helping students in different majors in the campus improve their language skills faster, including Japanese, Arabic, German, Italian, and so on. To tell you the truth, the teaching building of this school is really good looking. So now I really hope that its canteen is also very good looking. 
Even if not good looking, I hope that it is very delicious. We are now at Hexiang Cafeteria, one of the two restaurants in the school. There are more than dozens of dishes to choose here, and I think most people can find their favorite food. It is one of the supermarkets in this school. Although it is not big, the goods are very complete, and the environment is quite clean and tidy. By the way, here we can use face scan to pay. As long as our face and Alipay account are bound together, we can complete our purchase without carrying cash or your mobile phone. Just a good rest. Now we go to find a beautiful place to walk around. Actually, I've asked the students and teachers here to give me some advice on where to walk. So, is there any place in this school that I really need、uh, deserve to see and recommend it?、Uh, yeah, I can recommend the one place which I really like here.、Uh, it's a, it's like a mountain here. There's a mountain here. Yeah. Well,、uh, a little bit hiking there. This、uh-huh. is amazing. Yeah. This, this hill. Yeah, that the hill. The Shuyu Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, yeah, it's you have to climb, climb somewhere. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a place there, and there is nobody there. And I really like this place. I usually go there maybe like almost every day when I have time. I, I just go、day. there and just relax there <laughs> because it's、fight? very calm and it's very quiet. Nobody there. There is the nature, trees, birds singing.、Uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's、uh, really good. And、um, not too much campus have that kind of. Uh, attraction. <laughs> yeah, I feel.、Okay. After hearing the advice, we now come to Xunyu Hill. This hill has a luxuriant and picturesque scenery with maple trees, bamboo forest, and sweet-scented osmanthus trees here and there. The hill gate, Wenhu Pavilion, Tianlang Pavilion, and other cultural landscapes are elegantly and interestingly designed, where nature and humanity are combined to bring out the best in each other. There's also a graffiti here. It's about a very famous meme on Chinese internet. Can you understand the meaning of it? So after enjoying the unique natural scenery here, let's explore the lost area here, the stadium and the gymnasium. Today is really hot. I hope that there are students exercising in the stadium. It's very hot today, reaching over 30 degrees. But we can still see some students practicing on the tennis court. The stadium here is built on a mountain, so they are high and low, so that the scenery here becomes really unique. Now we get to the gymnasium here, and it's really huge. They are very complete sports facilities. Just to take a look and feel it. I believe that you will feel the strong sports atmosphere. After walking around for a day, I must admit it was worth spending two hours on the subway getting here to shoot this video, because the campus here is really beautiful and impressive. So that I even have the idea of studying here. But due to the limitation of time, I can only shoot these. If you want to know more information, please contact us in time. That's all about today's video. If you have anything to supply, please comment below our video. And see you next time.